Okay, that is some very ugly artwork. Okay, what are we seeing right now? Oh, oh my. Wait a second. What was that again? Oh, so basically this TikTok filter yassifies your art. Amazing. Let's try it out. I'm gonna start with doing the ugliest thing ever. Oh yes, very smegsy. Let's give him a light skin stare. Oh crap, it came out looking too smegsy. Picasso. Okay, so now I'm opening up my TikTok on my phone and this is the filter bro. Let's try it out. Hmm, look at that. Shrek has juicy lips. So apparently all you need to do is to tap on it and then just wait a few seconds while it's loading and well zing! He turned into baby girl. Kinda ugly though. Such a downgrade to Shrek's Shreksiness. Okay, let's do another one. This time I'm gonna try with a mid drawing. So I'm not gonna make him hot. So let's just speedrun the hair because it doesn't matter anyway. The AI doesn't recognize it, I think. Now let's draw a Smegzy suit. Just so he doesn't turn into baby girl again. Okay, moment of truth. Let's tap on it and... Okay, yet again, another baby girl. Why do they keep turning into baby girl? Okay, wait, let's actually try to like make him more daddy. Okay, moment of truth. Please don't turn him into a baby girl. Ooh, zaddy. Actually nice. He looks very much yassified. 10 out of 10 would. Okay, last one. I'm actually gonna put effort into yassifying this last guy. I'm gonna draw them material girl eyebrows. That's right. Then we just copy and paste the eye because we're lazy. So now I'm actually gonna put shadows on this thing. Let's see if it can detect proper lighting, okay? As if I myself know how to do proper lighting. And obviously, we're gonna put big, plump, juicy lips. Oh yes. And finally, the hair. Okay, so this is what the final version looks like. Very sassy, I know. Now, let's do the filter. Okay, moment of dr Oh crap, I accidentally pressed hit. Wait, let's see what actually happens. Ooh, dilf. Okay, anyway, let's zoom out and see the final version. Okay, how does it look? What? what? What happened to his face? Why does he have this sussy baka expression? Okay, but he's still a delf though. I'll give him that. Next. But before we proceed, do you look up embarrassing stuff on the internet? Of course you do, you weirdo. Well, Digital Footprint is real. The FBI might be watching you. And because of that, you need to start using NordVPN. Luckily, NordVPN encrypts your data so no one can track it easily. Your IP address, browsing history, location, your furry collection, they're all safe. Not only that, but with NordVPN, you can watch your favorite Netflix shows that are originally blocked in your country. For example, American Psycho. Not available in my country. But with NordVPN, I can finally watch it like a true Sigma during Christmas. With NordVPN, you can be any nationality you want. You can be American, Canadian, or even a smegzy Mexican and have access to region locked content. And lastly, if you ever need to transfer your highly sensitive furry collection to someone, having NordVPN VPN will make it a lot safer for you. So y'all need to install NordVPN right now using this link nordvpn.com slash coolin because right now they have an exclusive creator deal where you can get 4 months free this Christmas plus a 30 day money back guarantee. So go to my link now nordvpn.com slash coolin. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now let's move on. Pav, you're a lazy artist. Well, I'm a lazy artist so I would like to hear this. Okay, so this guy is just smearing this black substance all over his eyes. That probably violates a lot of health codes, but okay. And then all over his cheeks. Interesting. Okay, so basically you're like drawing tears, except it's emo. Got it. And then you click this thing, and then it magically turned into tears. Interesting. Okay, okay, let's try it out. So I drew this dude who looks like he hasn't showered in two days. And I think the TikToker dude used pen fade for that, so let's just use it real quick. Bruh, the ads. Okay, anyway, I put this in a new New layer in case I screw up like I always do. Okay, let's add the tears. Bro, this guy looks so emo. Okay, we're done. Not too much. Okay, so now we're gonna go to filter, then click on style right here, and click water drop rounded. Bro, that does not look like tears. It looks more like suspicious liquid, if I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the exact stuff on the TikTok. Guys, look, I changed the distance and it's already looking more Picasso. Mmm, it's already looking like genuine tears. Hold up, what does this do? Ooh, it's the lighting. So basically, I'm just positioning the lighting. Okay, Picasso. Okay, before emo tears and after normal smegsy tears. This is a 10 out of 10 certified hood 
classic. Next. Okay, so what is this? Ooh, dude is flexing their skills. Very cool. Hmm. Can't wait to see the final result. Man, this is a what? Okay, drawing process. Let's go. So this pro is using a ball pen to draw. That's very dangerous, especially as a pathetic traditional artist. And now he's using gouache, I think. The shadows. Oh, yes. And here's the final result. Okay, you know what? Let us try drawing like a pathetic traditional artist. I want to know how weakness feels like. So first, let's start doing the sketch. Some basic circles. Oh, yes. It looks bad, but it's all going to make sense, hopefully. Trust the process. Okay, so now let's do the pants. Am I even doing this right? Okay, okay. Now, let's color. So in real life, we have no layers. So I'm just going to paint over it like so. Just painting very lightly to avoid painting over the liner. And now we put the darker colors for the shadows. Now let us yassify the face. And finally, the pants. Okay, you know what? Let's just speed this part up. It's boring out. Okay, let's compare it to our reference photo. Personally, it is so bland. I hate it. Now, look at the difference when I put blending modes, okay? Let's add this add glow layer, okay? Watch the magic happen. And then we put an overlay and fill the whole canvas with orange. Do you see how easier life is with digital drawing programs w digital art but you know maybe i just have low skill levels next hiding your layers like this versus press and hold what wait so if i just press and hold this check what i can do that guys i'm i'm literally so stupid how did i only know about this to it literally like hides everything except for that layer very mind-blowing i must say i'm very stupid for not knowing that earlier i give this an 11 out of 10 okay so i can't really put the original audio since this copy but basically this guy is showing you how to trace first you use a green pen to trace over the image then you use a black one and then on CapCut you're just going to edit that green thing out so it looks like you're not tracing at all and this sparked a debate in the comment section hmm. bro just saying cap because he can't draw facts bro facts a lot of people are just insanely talented okay can't be me though i'm not gonna lie speaking of lying to people did you know that you can actually do this digitally too okay like let me show you so let's look at private layer okay okay let's just watch it real quick did you know if you prefer having your reference image on a layer slide left on insert a photo and instead select insert a private photo it won't show in your time lapse video did you know okay cool tutorial i didn't really understand anything but but anyway it kind of showed that if you were to okay wait let me show you so i'm on pinterest right now let's say that i found this photo very smegzy and i want to recreate it so first you download it obviously then go and procreate here you want to add a photo so here is the secret sauce okay just swipe left and you'll see this now i'm gonna insert a private photo just lower the opacity just a little bit and trace over it as you can see the picture that i'm tracing is still visible okay now watch me trace it okay done now let us play the time lapse video do you see the reference image do you see me tracing anything no you do not see it anywhere now this is peak catfishing okay but like as an artist bruh literally i don't know what y'all are gonna do with that information but i'm just putting it out there anyway pov edge pen what are you trying to spell thwop Huh? Can somebody in the comments explain, like, what? <gasps> Among us. Okay, thank you for watching. Watch this video next, and I'll see you there. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video, and stay cool.